Welcome back to the channel, and I'm your host, Coach Evans. Today, we're going to be previewing the Kobe Dean, uh, arguably the best player on UGA's national championship team, not just defense team, uh, fellow SIP boy, and I can't wait to get into this video. So let's uh, roll the intro. <laughs> So let's dive right into it. This is our guy right here, Kobe, number 17. And this play really just highlights his ability to scrape over the top, stay a hole behind, and then when the, the running back attacks the line of scrimmage, he attacks the line of scrimmage. A hole behind, bam, right there. And that's, that's simple, simple football. You see it from here. You can't really tell he's a hole behind. When the running back turns up, he turns up. He really just don't overplay it. He just doesn't overplay it. So he's basically one one gap behind the running back. He I mean if he if he's right here, he could potentially overrun it, but the, look at that angle. He's one gap behind. Now that big old hole opens up and the running back thinks, okay, well, you know, I got daylight. I'm going to hit it and go. And he shows up right in it. Not the greatest tackle right there, but does get the guy down. But that's basic instincts. Not overrunning plays. Not overrunning plays is, is cause let's just, let's just say he overrun this. Let's just say, let's just for the sake of argument, he overruns this. Say he's, here now, still, you know, momentum taking him that way. All this guy got to do is stick his foot in the ground and go. Who else is back here to stop him? Nobody. Maybe four could potentially cut it, you know, make him do something. But if he, if, if Nicobe overran this and he stuck his foot in the ground and hit it like a real running back should, nobody else is there. But staying the hole behind, you're allowing the running back to maybe see potentially I got a gap, then feel it. It's good football right there. It's good football. All right, the next play. Here's our guy here, again, number 17. You want a linebacker that can, want a linebacker that can blitz and can can work in between these guards and, and the center and maybe between the the uh cent, the guard and tackle. You want a guy that can, can get in tight spaces and maneuver. Watch this. Come in there, gap. <laughs> the center never even touched him. I'm gonna just let me let it play through first. <laughs> now, granted, they completed it, but still, you want a guy that can, can maneuver in tight spaces. He doesn't slow down. He doesn't slow down. He comes. The center steps at him. He tap, takes one step, like a running back or receiver. Look at the look at the arm. There's an arm over. The, top, the the center's trying to get this arm right here on him. Trying to get this arm right here on him. Watch what his left arm does. Swap. Now, swipe that down. And never break stride. Never break stride. Now, look at the center like, mm, what do I do now? Had this not been some kind of slice play to the tight end, definitely been a sack. Because he was too fast for even the running back to even see anything going on. Even though it was a play action. Too fast for the running back to do anything. Because he got in there too quick. The running back can't even necessarily cut back and go block that. The running back can't, can't, can't block that because it's, it's happening too fast. He got no hesitation from the center. None. All right, now we're going to move on to a play versus Michigan or a couple of plays versus Michigan. And that first play, we talked about him staying a hole behind and making the tackle. And that was against uh, Bama. Watch the same technique, the same discipline versus in this, on this play versus Michigan. Right there and feel it. 
Better tackle right here, though. A lot better tackle. And again, we'll see the angle. I'll stop when I want to show you that angle. Right there, he kind of, he kind of hit, but slow playing. Slow playing. He ain't full speed, full speed through there. Meets him right there. He And the running back attacked the angle. Like, the last play, the running back kind of went this way and then came down. And so, the linebacker kind of went that way and came down. Well, in this instance, the running back kind of worked his way at that angle. And so did Dean. Dean kind of worked his way at that angle. And they met pretty much in the same spot right there. Look, and look at the tackle. Head across, about to throw the hands, and hopefully dry the feet. Throw the hands. Uh, it's, it, it glitched on him. I can't tell if he drove the feet. Let's see if we can get that. Mm, nah, dead feet. So it wasn't a perfect tackle, but still, great technique. All right, and on this play right here, I saw, I'm not sure who or where I saw it, but I did see it. So I'm not making this up. Where somebody said that um, Lloyd was a better fit for the NFL game because of his athleticism and his speed. Well, I kind of took that personally. Watch this. This is this is man coverage. This is Nicobe Dean right here. Man coverage. The guy he's covering is going to come in motion, get a bubble or something thrown to him out here in the flats. He's still going to make this tackle. So it's just one-on-one. -on -one. Open field tackle. Throw them hooks up every time. Every time you make a play like that, throw them up. See, look, he's behind. This dude has all the leverage. All, all the leverage. And granted, he slows down weight on the ball, but still. Heat seeking missile. Open field tackle. That's what you want your linebacker to do. Not miss tackles right there. And I'm not going to speak. Uh, I ain't even go there. Because I tried watching that other video and it was a struggle. I won't go back and watch it again, but the other guy's video was a struggle for me. Maybe it was I was having a bad day. But let's go to the next play. And this play right here, I don't know if I tweeted it out or what. But I remember watching it when I was watching the Walker video. And um I was watching the Walker video and I saw him do this and I was amazed that this is all film study. Smart guy. This is all film study. See him, him pointing and calling it out, saying the guy's coming in motion. Just watch him right here. Pointing it out, saying the guy's going to come in motion. See that? Going around. He comes off the edge, not being fooled by it, not chasing, not chasing three. Straight to the quarterback. So if he if he's the C gap defender, and in this in this case he's he is because this guy slants inside, so that makes him well not A B C. He be the D gap defender. This guy's a C gap defender, so he's the D gap defender because this guy slants outside. So with him coming off the edge, he now has deepest the deepest back, which is going to be the quarterback. Because if I'm not mistaken, let's see what twenty five does. Yeah. He'd be the deepest, the deepest back now, which uh, he has the boot. And instead of chasing this, you know, this eye candy and that eye candy, he stays true to what he's supposed to do, which is the quarterback, and gets him down. But it's all film study. All film study, because he's seen it before. I don't know when they ran it up. You know, they, maybe they worked that motion before, or number three only does that, or something like that. But he knew what was coming. I had a general idea, and we made the play. Now we're going to watch him be more athletic, getting off of blocks in space. So um, to set it up, this tight end, this tight end here is going to try to block Dean. And this is Dean right there. So really he's going to try to come off and, you know, seal him off like that. But the fact that he can maneuver that block, then get off to go make the tackle, instead of just staying there being blocked. And now he finally sees him. He sees him at the last minute because his eyes were on a guy coming in motion. 
rips his shoulder by him. Now, at this point, the tight end's beat because he got that shoulder by him. Once you get that shoulder by him, if you just shoot, shoot the elbow back into his ribs, he done. He done. Ain't nothing he can do but hold you, which he attempts to do. Now it's one-on-one. Open field tackle in space. And he gets a little help right there at the end. But for the most part, he closed in on that. You're looking at a guy that – and you don't see a lot of him taking on blocks like with guards and, and pullers and stuff like that because he's good at that. There was no need for me to highlight that. That type of stuff is all on his highlight tapes that are all over YouTube. He, he go His blitzing ability. Like he'll go in and, 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 and out leverage a guard and just run him straight back. Or he'll, like we showed on the first play, he'll high step – not high step, but – um, dead leg to center and get on in. Now, you can see all this stuff on his highlight tape. We got one more play left. And again, I just went on this little semi rant about him beating guards and blitzing and stuff like that. So I decided to put this one on there to kind of give you an example of that. This is Dean here. She's going to blitz through this B gap. And he's really going to take on 56. You know, it's going to be a one on one block. So if I'm not mistaken, Walker is going to slant here and he's going to come there. Yeah, Walker slants. Now you got one on one with 56. Leverage. Look at that rip again. He understands leverage. Got that arm lower and up under. And now all he can do is just turn the, bend the corner. Look at him bend the corner. And get the QB. It's taking us a linebacker taking on a guard. You got to understand that you're going to be outweighed and potentially. The, the old line is probably going to be stronger than you in most cases. So you got to play with leverage. You got to play with speed. That was the leverage part. This being is the speed part. And he finished the play. Finished the play. Got the guy down. If there's a, and arguably there is a better guy out there. If there's a better guy out there, and arguably there is, I need to see it. And I mean at, at interior linebacker. If there's a better guy out there, drop drop the names in the uh, comment section. And I know Lloyd's going to be one of the names mentioned. Uh, I did Christian Harris already. I really like Christian Harris from Alabama. But if, you know, out of those, other than those three guys, including Dean, drop the name of another interior linebacker out there that I should look at that could potentially get up, you know, be one of these top echelon linebackers. I don't personally don't think there's a better guy in, you know, this class. That's That's my two cents. I personally don't. But um, this is, you know, my review of Nicobe Dean. He's a, uh, he's probably not, he's definitely probably not fast in the Lord. I'll give Lord that. He's not fast in the Lord. But his instincts, his ability to blitz, and he, he, he's not as athletic as Lord, but he can still make plays. You don't have to be that super duper athletic guy at Mike to be the best linebacker. Your athleticism. You need to have some athleticism, especially in today's NFL. And I understand why the people said what they said about Lord being the best linebacker for today's NFL. But at some point, you still got to defend the run. And this dude can help you in that. Not saying Lord can't, but I can guarantee you this dude can help you defending the run better than Lord can. And um, this is my breakdown of Nicobe Dean. Um, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And um, if Nicobe ever sees this, which I probably won't, Root to the burrows. I'm out.